character lesson for this week is whatever it takes. And that's kind of an attitude lesson. I'll usually start out with the kids and we'll, I, I tell a story. And we talk about if you're in Africa and there were lions chasing you, could you stop and turn around and say, Mr. Lion, Mr. Lion, I'm just a little kid. You can't eat me. Or Mr. Lion, Mr. Lion, I forgot my shoes so I can't run very fast, so you can't eat me. Or Mr. Lion, Mr. Lion, it's not fair. You can't eat me. And obviously we all <laughs> can see that those are pretty ridiculous excuses. And then I try to help the kids understand that all excuses are pretty ridiculous excuses. In any given situation, part of it is you and part of it isn't you. When you make an excuse, you put all the focus on the part that you can't do anything about. And that allows you, in your own mind, to not pay attention to the part that you can do something about, which is the only part that matters, because it's the part you can do something about. So my goal with this lesson is to help the kids understand to ignore the part that they can't do anything about and really focus on the part that they can do something about. And this happens to be one of my favorite lessons. I come at it from a lot of different directions because I feel that so many of the things that we identify as problems boil down to a failure in personal responsibility. That, that if we all took ownership for our choices and, and the, you know, the, the consequences that go along with them, boy oh boy, wouldn't dozens and dozens, if not everything, run a great deal more smoothly. So again, you may hear me talk to the kids about the lions don't care and that's um, you know, connecting back to that story. And then whatever it takes, no matter what, no excuses, I think is, is a great um, lesson. And you'll hear me come at it again from a lot of different directions as we go through the week because it's one of my favorites. Uh, <laughs> the safety lesson is stay away from stuff that could hurt me. Um, you'll also hear the kids talk about before, not after, that it's better to be careful before because we don't want to get hurt after. And there really are two categories of things that we want to stay away from as a, a safety concern. One is things that are going to hurt me right now. You know, for example, fire and, and matches and um, fireworks and lawnmowers and weed whackers and blenders and, and the neighbor's dog and look both ways before you cross the street and all those sorts of things where they're, they're accident, injury based concerns. You know, kids sort of fooling with things they shouldn't be fooling with, the stuff in the medicine cabinet. Kids fooling with things they shouldn't be fooling with and then they get hurt and there's that traumatic, scary experience that we all are, are interested in preventing. The other set of things that it's important for us to stay away from because they may hurt us are things that will hurt us later. You know, the cigarette doesn't hurt you right now, but it will hurt you later if you don't stay away from it. Um, the, the, the choice of, you know, taking in too much alcohol didn't hurt you right now. Well, I mean, I suppose it does a little bit, but the real damage shows up later. Um, the consequence of, of eating poorly, you know, not enough of the right nutrients and too many uh, of the things that we know aren't good for us doesn't uh, cause an immediate traumatic injury now, but it causes serious problems later on. Um, for that matter, you know, too much time in front of the television or the computer, right? Um, causes problems later on. So when we talk about stay away from things that could hurt me, there are the right now hurt me's, which are fairly obvious, but it's good to remind the kids. And then there are the hurt me later sort of things that I, I think we forget about. They're easy to pay less attention to, when in all reality, they're much, much more important. Sometimes self-defense is defending you from yourself. And most of us are not going to be in a life-threatening automobile accident. However, most of us at some point down the line may have a problem with some of our internal organs because we didn't take care of them properly.